quick video about sealing a pond with duck shit essentially so as I've been adding fish to this small pond how big is it hard to say I would guess a hundred gallons 200 gallons I don't know go figure two meters by about one meter so as I've been adding more fish I figured they would need more water and more of the water exchanging so I raised the water level by means of this little swivel pipe here and adding more water flow into the pond as I did that I noticed the pond started leaking pretty badly and I saw water coming out of the ground maybe 20 30 meters down this hill there just coming up out of the ground one of the terraces the the pigs built helped build so yeah it leaks it developed some pretty serious leaks and i don't want to cause any landslides i do want the pond to you know keep the land moist around here we have basically unlimited water so yeah i want the water to go from the pond and into the land and you know all the fish manure and whatever's in there to also help fertilize the soil and keep it moist at the same time so i do want it to leak a little bit but not to where it'll potentially cause a landslide so i went into a little duck canal that I've talked about in some other videos. I dried it up temporarily and started digging out this muck, which is, in my estimation, silt, clay-based probably mostly, stuff that runs off the wall over there, and um, duck shit, basically. Surprisingly, or maybe it's not so surprising. It doesn't really have much of a smell. It just kind of smells... You would imagine this sort of pond scum stuff would smell like crap, right? Seeing as it's mostly that, probably. Or a lot of it, anyway. It doesn't actually smell like much. It just smells like, you know, kind of like a lake. And some soil. So, as you can see, this stuff is kind of... You know, it must have a lot of clay in it, the way it forms. And it seems like it's pretty, like it would do do the trick. So, I've put some of it in there already. You could see around the edges and some on the bottom. I'm just going to put it in a few spots that I think are leaking. And see what happens. See what happens to my leak down there and what happens with water retention. So... Oh, and another thing, I don't know if you can tell, probably, like right there, inside of this muck, there are these little red, I guess, aquatic worms. They kind of remind me, they might be the same thing, of these little worms you pick up at aquarium shops for your fish. Um, live feed, basically. And as I dried up the pond, the chickens and the ducks went in there scratching around going crazy and as i was dumping this in the water here and it was still clear you could see fish going nuts too and eating these little red worms so i'm gonna try to figure out what they are exactly and look into some kind of system i mean we do have a system where we inadvertently ended up breeding these things but i want to see if i could maybe work out some kind of more efficient system where I could also extract these a little bit better and feed them to the fish. We'll see. But, um, you know, it's another advantage of having like a pond or a little puddle even where your chickens are, for example. I guess if you're getting natural water from the river, right? I'm assuming that's where these, because we get snails in our water and, and these things and I'm sure all kinds of stuff that's very hard to see and eat or even microscopically small right so if you if you're getting water that's alive right from a natural body of water it's going to carry life and bring life to uh, your pond or what have you puddle right and then you drain it once in a while and there you have food for your animals right for your chickens or, or whatever 
So that's, as I, you know, do this and discover um, various ways of uh, feeding our animals for quote-unquote free, basically, right? Uh, this seems to be like maybe one viable solution that I'm going to look into and, and try to work out a little bit better. But even as it is, right, that little channel over there that the ducks swim in and shit in, when I drain it once in a while, uh, they get their food out of there. And the ducks are always like going through the muck and I was always wondering what it is that they're eating out of there. And lo and behold, that's what it is. These little red worms. If anyone knows what these things are called or has a guess, um, can you leave that in the comment section? That's going to help out my research. There's quite a few of them in there. I don't know how well they're registering on my phone. There's one. Phone camera. There you go. But, uh, yeah. Fish food. And sealing a pond with pond muck. Duck shit. Clay and who knows what else, right? Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.